Hey YouTube, hey Georgia Bigfoot here. I'm gonna do a, a wiper blade replacement on the 16 JKU. It is now, let's see, um, August the 5th of 2020 and we got this uh, JKU in um, spring of 16 and it's been a great, great Jeep. It's got 59,600 miles on it. We love it. And um, these are the Mopar wiper blades and they've just started coming apart at 59,600 miles. We probably should have changed them a long time ago and we learned in our quest recently to replace the blades that they're 15 inch blades, which uh, on newer models, um, they're 16 inch blades, but these are 15s and we thought about buying 15s, Mopar blades, but we're members at Costco and at Costco they sell these Michelin blades, these Guardians, which I have used on other vehicles and I like them um, for cheap. They're like $8.99 a pair or $8.99 a piece. So what is that like just shy of $18, $17.98 for two of them? But they're 16 inches. So I got on the forums, the Wrangler forums, and you know there's all sorts of hand wringing and postulating on whether or not 16s will work on these and there's enough clearance and you know is there enough clearance over here and is there enough clearance over here well here's my trusty tape measure and these blades are actually like well they're just shy of 15 inches they're like 14 and 7 eighths but these blades i mean if you think about it they're going to be evened out if we put them at 16 kind of on each side there's plenty of clearance on the left and obviously plenty of clearance on the right so I'm gonna pull these out and put them on I can't film this and do this all one-handed we're just gonna see if they fit and if they grip now does this mean that if these 16s don't fit that no 16s fit no it just may be that the Michelin's are different but I hope these fit because I think there's lots of people out there who wouldn't buy, mind buying these and putting them on their JKU. So let's see what happens. So first thing to mention is these do pop off really easy. There's a little notch down here. See that? That little hole. It's like a little oval rectangle. Rectangle, I guess, more than anything. This little clip, and you push this clip down. And, um... And when you do that, it'll pop out. It's kind of hard for me to do it one-handed, but let's see if we can do it. Uh, I did it moments ago, and then I actually re- Oh, there we go. So they just slide out like that, see? Real easy peasy. And I want to make sure, you know, these are spring-loaded, so you don't want to let it snap back and, you know, hit and scratch the window. But I'm going to gently lay it down there, and I'm going to open these up real quick. Okay, so just pulled it out of the box. It comes with a bunch of adapters here. We're gonna find out if it even needs an adapter to work, but here's the older Mopar one. And um, here's the new Michelin one. You can just see there's a, um, there's a profile difference, obviously. The Michelin's a little thicker. Obviously a little longer. I do like the low profile look of the of the Mopar metal at least this outer coating is like a it's almost like a rubber I don't know some people may want to possibly remove that maybe that would um, break it though I don't know Maybe that rubber helps it uh, give it more reinforcement. All right, let's see if we need a clip. What kind of clip? So in looking at the directions here, it looks like the first option is for a hook, which is what the Jeep has as a hook. See, it looks the same. There's other options here side hook or side lock
top hook, top lock and narrow. Anyway, it looks like we're just able to go with the factory, like what it hit its design for. And it looks like you open up this clip right here. You put the hook in there, you slide it in here, and then you take this top lock and snap it in. See, they got even like a little thing. They're like close cover. Click. Let's try that. Okay, so I just put it down in here and pulled this forward, and then this is supposed to snap and lock it in. Ah, there it is. That's a 16 inch blade. You know what? I like the look. I mean, just, just comparing them. Here's the new Michelin Guardian. There's the Mopar. This has certainly a more substantial look to it. We're gonna change that other one now. And I didn't need to use any of these clips. So just when you're standing there at Costco and you're thinking about buying these and you, you see all these different little clips, you don't need them. At least for this 2016 JKU you don't, which would apply to the JK as well. I believe that's what, from 07 to 17, they made them this body style, calling for the 15 inch uh, blades. Of course, I'm gonna show you here in a moment how they wipe and whatnot, and I'll spray some water on it and we'll see what happens. Also need to pull this little protective cover off. See that right there? That's nice that they would include that. Looks like there's good contact right there, see? So here's the other blade arm at least and here's the blade I'll show you what this entails so take this see that slide it in clip it shut it's, it's locked in see that I pulled the little cover Okay, so I have the wiper blades installed. They look good. There's clearance on the left. Clearance on the right. We we'll clear the top. Let's see what happens. Here's my question. Who were the numbskulls that had all the hand wringing in the forums? So there is probably an eighth of an inch clearance between the top of the blade and the, and the window frame. Actually, not even the window frame, it's the welt. So it's like a, an eighth of an inch to the welt. Clearance over here on the left. Clearance on the top. Full contact. Stylish looks. Easy installation. I mean, I would say all those people on the Jeep forums who are saying that 16 inch blades don't work, they should ban them because they're just spreading false information. Or you know, tear a corner off their uh, Jeep card.